Hey everybody, today we're gonna check out this InQuest magazine that I saved from the 90s as a little kid. And uh, it's got price guides and some old prices for magic cards, which is pretty cool. Let's check it out. So check this out, this is pretty sick. October 1995, InQuest magazine. The guide to collectible card games. All right, changeling. Uh, the waiting is over, the dreaming begins. Shadow Fist, yeah, you know, there was a ton of these random games. Hold your skill to make the kill. That were out around then. Guardians, what's this, you know? Crazy. They even had a Marvel one. The Overpower card game. Yep, from Fleer. The letters. This is so crazy looking. There you go. Some current Magic the Gathering humor using Amnesia from the Dark. The image from that. And then look at their response. Youch, I think we'd better get you a rule book before you start fireballing your graveyard. <laughs> oh, what a random non response to his question. Wild Storms Conflict 1995 Magic Championships. <coughs> yeah, so this <clears throat> magazine I've had since uh, I was little actually. This WotC reacts quickly to Chronicles leak. In early July, Wizards of the Coast announced that it was breaking a company policy and releasing an official list of cards in its Chronicle expansion set for Magic the Gathering. Unlike earlier expansion sets, this set's contents were being announced in advance because somehow an unof unofficial list was of the cards was already public. Oh my god, in 1995, beginning of the internet... The unofficial list appeared in a number of places. While it was most likely available on the internet or similar computer networks, it soon made its way into stores as well. Several stores reportedly sold the list to customers who were eagerly awaiting the information. Wow. Even back then, they were dealing with uh, leaks. Mm, I didn't know that was going on in 1995. That's cool to see. Some crazy history right here. Uh, CD-ROM. Now it's a ROM Magic the Gathering. The computer strategy game that will hold you spellbound. <laughs> Dungeons and Klingons in Atlanta. So later on in this... Sphere Walker? Later on in this, um, there's a price guide for some of the cards. And yeah, that's going to be cool to see. So yeah, look at this. Even Wizards of the Coast had other games. Vampire, the Eternal Struggle. Interesting. So these are like, I guess, reviews of other games. Yeah, game reviews. <laughs> awesome freaking movie. Uh, Lawnmower Man. If you've never seen it, like, and you're young now, and you watch it, you'll probably laugh at it. But if you come from the 90s, this was awesome. Coming attractions, what the future holds. Highways of the mind. <laughs> They're talking about virtual reality. Nano, uh, nanotechnology. Virtual reality. What else? Genetic engineering. Bionics. Now they talk about like cyberpunk stuff. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. Uh, Shadowrun was an awesome game. If you've never played it, definitely play it. Oh, look at that. Global warming ar arguments back in 1995. 
Wow. This is pretty crazy. I, I haven't read this in years, years and years. So to see this, it's kind of <laughs> like, what the hell? A little bit prescient, huh? Okay, so this, they also had decks. So if you want to play a deck from 1995, there's your cards right there. That's Findhorn Fire. But look at that. Oh, fourth edition ad. Talking about Ray of Command from Ice Age. Tough gaming questions. I am not going to read these right now, but if you want to pause it, feel free. This is pretty interesting. Actually, maybe you should give it a pause. Oh, and in case you're interested <coughs> in Shadow Fist and a little bit more MTG Stumpers, yeah, pretty interesting. So yeah, this actually took place where in my county. So I believe this was maybe locally published. I don't know. Inquest. I think Toy Wiz, Wizard World had something to do with all early on uh, magic. And, you know, I was there. Middle Earth by the Wizards, a freaking Lord of the Rings game. A contest. Grand prize. One lucky prize will receive the first ever Wizards of the Coast scholarship. The club president and one associate will come to Wizard of the Coast HQ for a weekend of learning and mastering Magic the Gathering and all those other neato Wizards of the Coast games. Upon completion of schooling and testing, the president and associate will receive a diploma from Watts University. Your round trip transportation and lodging are paid for, paid for by the scholarship. Yeah, so you get to visit. And actually, the second prize sounds even better. You get a, you get a box and you get t shirts, calendars. Yeah, I might want the second prize. That sounds better. I don't know about Homelands, but still, it's not a great set. But, you know thousand dollar box nowadays or 800 meet Rob's Alexander very cool artist profile talking about interrupts incidents <laughs> There's a lot of rule review here, huh? Tapping the vein. What is this? Empire Artist. Ah, that's their other game. Up, oh, Rage. This wolf game. Werewolf game. Hmm, another contest. Shedding a light on the 10 most confusing Ice Age cards. Snow covered land. Ice Cauldron, definitely. Try reading that and figuring that out at a, you know, here. Pause it and read it. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ice Flow, Barbarian Guides. Hmm. Virtual Battle Tech. The greatest game on earth, huh? Man, I miss 90s arcades. The card world, uh, Jetty Anjan and, and uh, what's his name? But they added lower halves. That's pretty funny. This is pretty cool stuff. I gotta read this. All right, so now 
We're at the price guide. Let's see. Alpha. Black Lotus. $250 to $350. Yes. And Alpha Black Lotus was $350 back then. So it was kind of ridiculous to even bother getting. However, something that was kind of coming into its own would be like Badlands. Only 40 bucks from Alpha. That is sick. Top 10 hottest cards. The Elder Dragons. What else do we got? Let's just look up some Moxes. Mox Emerald, 205. Mox Jet, all of them are 205. Wow. Time Twister. Let's look that up. Time Twister, 120. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, a Beta Black Lotus, 250. So... You can really tell that they're being played. 250 and 250 near the same price, even though it's near mint and light play. Still, an alpha, Black Lotus. Get out of here. That's crazy. Yep. Recall. Great card. Especially back then. Unlimited. Let's see. Unlimited Black Lotus. 225. Exactly. Nearly the same price as a light play. Alpha Black Lotus, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous. $30 Badlands, same price as Alpha almost. And look at Badlands, 20 bucks from Revised. Number eight, Mana Drain. Your fourth edition. And you know, Ball Lightning, eight bucks. Whee! Royal Assassin, number seven. Number six was the Doppelganger. Let's see, Arabian Nights cards. Elite from Cairo, 75, even back then. That shows you how powerful that card is. What else do we got? Oh, where's the Guardian Beast? Guardian Beast, 65, still back then, exactly. That's why I have them, because I have memory from back in the day. Oh, man, the Juzam, 60, you yep. know. What else? Library of Alexandria, let's look that up. 35 the bazaar $18 you could have had one got 18 bucks talk about an investment antiquities or give you an archaeologist even then 30 bucks so talk about slow price appreciation although the candelabra 30 bucks that's it's not slow <laughs> especially if you have a graded workshop 15 bucks now that's a good investment Shite. Legends. Fork. Number five. Let's see. Tabernacle. Fifteen bucks. Jesus H. Fifteen dollar tabernacle at Pendrel Vale. What the hell is wrong with the world? Oh my god. Okay. The dark. Uh, you know, all this is pretty cheap too. Dual lands are the number four hottest cards, I guess. Dual lands. They were like 20 bucks from revised. Look at that. Juzam was blown out the water. Look what it says about it. The jins are powerful, but they sting you for a point every turn. They suck. Hmm, let's see, a 5-5 five, five BC at a cost of 2 black and 2 others. You guys talking for a 1 life on your upkeep? Juzam sounds like a bargain to us. Number 2 hottest card at the moment, more so than the, the, the Dijin, was the Chester's Mask. And, you know, it's just as crazy to see the number 1 hottest card. The Cap. Let's see, do they have... Ice Age prices here? Yes. Okay, so let's look up. So Deflection was a big card. 12 bucks. That was back then. And let's see. Jester's Cap and Mask. Uh, one is more expensive than Revised Duels. The other one is the same price. Things have changed, eh? Pretty crazy. 
And this is a price guide for some of the other games. I'm not going to really get into it, but yeah. Hey, hey Ash. Clicking away. Come smelling me. Yeah, I don't know. This is pretty crazy to look at all these years later. Yeah, look at this. They even explain, like, what the card looks like and, like, what it means. And here, there you go. Here's another card description. <laughs> okay, that, that's a cool um, thumbnail, maybe. So look at this. Player's Guide. It straight up is, like, the cards. And it's got every set up until this point in alphabetical order these are all the artifacts oh my god and like, there you go the wretched they explain stuff you know pretty cool I love the art on that card I love that art so sick Christopher Rush baby alright combos combos for back in the day <laughs> yeah, here. More combos. And more combos. Pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool. I'm so glad I kept all this stuff. I'm so glad I kept it in good condition. I mean, I know it's not worth anything, but it's cool to freaking see and this is some history right here I was thinking of buying some of these just to you know see what else but this one has a special because this one is mine that I held on to I actually played a red deck I would burn and fork and grow my mana with dark rituals and soul rings and yeah so that's how I won a couple of dual lands from the local shop owner <laughs> crazy they're beat up but still one of them's uh unlimited wow Oh, and then look, other games, combos for them. <laughs> it's pretty crazy how many games were happening at the time. Crazy, crazy guys. Very cool though. This has been a pleasure. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Take care, have a good one.